First houses are the grounds of our first experience. A complex history comes down to us through household jokes and anecdotes, odd habits, irrational superstitions. Its spirit resides in ordinary objects that become, beyond the fact of presence and usefulness, the characters in a private language, characters too in the story we are living. We hear our first folk tales with a start of recognition, since what is enacted in them is general to every society, even the smallest. And our own has already revealed to us the magic that glows along a threshold or round a forbidden biscuit tin. And my mother's parents were both uh, dead uh, when I was growing up, so I didn't know either of them, except from the rather grand photographs I was always shown of them and from the stories my mother told. My mother, uh, who'd left England when she was 10, um, went on living in that English world she'd come out of. My father's parents came to Australia separately. They came from the same town, in fact, in Lebanon. <laughs> I don't, don't ever remember him speaking any English. And uh, I used to be quite fascinated by the fact that he spoke another language. And he would often um, be telling long stories uh, to people who were sitting there and laughing. I've no idea what those stories were. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to sort of eavesdrop on them and felt that I understood what they were about because I could hear the tune. The old man's stories are fabulous beyond anything I have retold from the Greeks. But savage, a form of extravagant play that explains nothing but speaks straight out of the nightmare landscape of this place and my dream journeys across it. They fill the world, they make the head buzz, they numb the blood. They seem absolutely true and yet they explain nothing. <laughs> 